Hello and welcome back to LA Noir. So, we've just interviewed Mr. Wilkie, who is innocent, I'm pretty sure. Um, so I'm not sure if I've got all the clues. I'll check around here. Can we talk to Coroner? No. Let's talk to our partner. Right, is so he just switching between them two clues? Yeah, I think he is. Right, so let's have a look. So, people. Adrian Black and Mrs. Black. It's clues. Abandoned vehicle, blood splashes, wallet and glasses. At locations. We should go to the Black residence. May have not got all the clues, but hey. Have a light jog over there. Oh, okay. Keep searching. Keep searching. All right. Good thing you said that. What's going on, detective? Something bad happened here? This scene is a mess. Could have been a dozen different crimes committed down here with all the bows having freights. Ah, oh, precise to talk. Here we go. Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Is this a murder weapon? No, it doesn't really have any blood on it, so... Nope. What's this? If Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? That might not be human blood, then. We might be investigating. A death of the pig! Dun dun dun! What now? Have a word with the witness. It's not often we get eyeballs in a case like this. Have a word with the witness. I've already, already talked to him. Can I talk to him more? I best be heading back to work. My boss is gonna give me hell regardless. This is your problem now. Okay, maybe not. Um, there's a clue this way. Oh, well, good thing I searched for this because this is pretty important. The murder weapon. It's the heat. Brand name might give us something to go on. Okay, excellent. Well, it's definitely a good thing I came back here. So, are we good now? Quickly talk to my partner. Ah. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. When you saw the blood? Was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. Okay. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. 
Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. If you're done here, we'll head over there now. I can talk to... It said talk to someone. I'll talk to him. We're going to notify the wife. You seem to have it under control here. Yeah, I got this. Okay, cheers, fella. Right. So we're now heading to the black residence. And confront poor old Mrs. Black. Although she could have done it, to be fair. We don't know. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. You know where that is? Behind Bunker Hill. A couple blocks north of Central Station. Okay. So, what do we tell the wife? Play it by the book. There's no stiff yet, so let's see how it plays out. Oh, God. Am I going to be the one who has to tell the wife? Good, no crashes. Could be a car theft gone wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a ticket. All units, so 459 just occurred at 6th and Saras. Any um, unit to handle, code 2, identify. 11 King, go my ahead, AGPO. trigger AGPL. figure just pressed by. And I've got another text. Just left 6th and Saras. God damn it. Suspect is a male Caucasian. Right, so this was the one that we attempted in the first episode, so let's try this again. Right, I know what to do this time. Now, take it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Can I slide down the pipe? Yes, I can. I'm not running that fast, am I? What? Have I, am I going the wrong way? Oh, good thing I took the map. Sorry. Come back here, you bastard. Quick climb. Can I shoot him? Alright, we're still chasing. Oh god. Make a bargain or what? Put the weapon down now. No, <laughs> shit. No, I thought I had that. Ah, oh, that's twice now we've failed that. God damn it. Oh, I'm just, I'm just a superb cop. All units, so 459 just occurred at 6th and 7th. No, I can't be able to do that. To we'll try again later. Try for the third time. It's not our best start to our street crime career. Oh, Could look be a at that old dodge. Wrong. Make Black drive somewhere lonely, then give him a tap. But why leave the car? Yes. And how would he... Obviously, you... someone got a little heavy-handed. There's too much it's blood. It's a long way around. How so, genius? Where is Adrian? If you've gone to all the trouble to steal the car and it goes wrong, you leave the car. Jesus, Cole! You got something there, folks. It doesn't add up. No, it doesn't. I love this game. I've always wanted to be a detective. Did you read about the guy on the crossing yesterday? No, what happened? Over on Lincoln Avenue. This guy's driving along and his oil light comes on. He stops the car and gets out. <laughs> he pops the hood and he's on a rail crossing. <laughs> oh, you got it. He's got his head under there checking the oil and the Southern Pacific Freight slams into his car doing 90 miles an hour. The car came to a rest more than a mile down the track. Jesus. <laughs> Was he all right? What a pointless waste of life. No, I tell that. You'll get plenty of blood and guts and mindless stupidity working traffic, folks. And who needs a Second Amendment when we'll give a goddamn fool the license to get behind the wheel of an automobile? An automobile? Yeah, you said it. If it's a kidnap, why leave the victim's ID? If it's a murder, why leave the car? The evidence doesn't add up. Free lesson, folks. Evidence will only get you so far. You ask me, the whole thing feels hinky as hell. What I wouldn't give to have your powers of intuition, Don't worry, kid. Keep watching the master and you'll get there one day. 
<laughs> I like the character development as well. Careful. Quite like Phelps' backstory and getting to know him a bit more. And Bartowski, Chuck Bartowski seems like a, a character as well. Anyone gets that reference? Okay, Black Residence, 11.52 a.m. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. So I have to do it. Just a minute. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. Oh, we can discuss this in the living room. Please Thank you. In. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Mm. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Okay. Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. I think it's a bit too late for that. All right. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. Oh, oh, oh. So who brought this home? What was it from last night though? Oh. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. So, you're a friend of Courtney's. Yes, doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Okay. It doesn't look evil at all. I want to take you on a journey, a journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past, occasions that made you laugh, times that made you smile. Oh God, he looks, he's very creepy. Maybe it's time we took a look yeah, around that side. Look. No 
just leaving the thing half finished. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant I didn't, didn't, didn't. The home. Okay, but we'll leave it there. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please tell me what you think. Um, please tell me who you think it is. It's like a nice murder mystery. And um, I'll see you all later.